The idea of the Great Green War was introduced in 2007, an effort to limit the desertification and contain the Sahara Desert. But with climate change in full swing and with it rising temperatures and lack of rainfall, millions of trees that were part of the Green War died. Authorities now have to come up with alternatives. Take a look at this next report. The idea of the Great Green Wall was introduced by the African Union in 2007 to contain the Sahara Desert and help create green and temperate agricultural pockets. The plan here was to plant a 5,000 million long boundary of trees. But with climate change, that goal has fallen by the wayside. Millions of trees died due to a lack of rainfall and soaring temperatures. Organizers have now been forced to regroup and rethink their strategy. Their plan is now to focus on smaller clusters of trees instead of one long belt. Any project has to start from the communities if you want it to be sustainable and that is what we call community ownership. These are the two elements that guarantee the sustainability of projects. These smaller pockets have in fact proved to be beneficial. In many cases they have helped enrich soil and also served economically for the local farmers. Take the example of Fall here, who owns a citrus orchard. Fall grabbed the chance to plant one near a water source after a municipality meeting with village chiefs for discussing options for utilizing their land. Fall is not the only one. There are about 800 such success stories. This has even helped cut down the cost of having to buy basic food supplies. Here the water is the main source of occupation. On days when we have enough, we can water vegetable fields, which will provide us with income, and as a result, we will be able to support our husbands with the daily expenses. It has been over a decade since the Great Green Wall project was introduced. Since then, only about 4% of the target has been met. As per estimates, 43 billion US dollars would be needed to reach the 2030 target. And so, organizers are shifting their attention to smaller and more sustainable ways. And community-driven projects like these seem to be doing the trick, at least for now. At the recently concluded COP26, African Development Bank President Akinwumi Adesina spoke about the importance of stopping desertification in the Sahel, also announcing a commitment from the bank to mobilize $6.5 billion toward the Great Green Wall by 2025. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.